before so um everyone else can watch it i'm live i'm live now three two one all right how's it going everybody we are live once again it's been a minute happy may 2nd we are here with the one and only tgz jordan please let everyone know in the chat what you do and why you're here tonight what's up chat just wanted to check in with uh shinjay appreciate him having me here to co-cast this um league we're hosting i'm the commissioner basically for the z league which is a small league that i've put together with eight teams to you know do something different for the unite community aside from aos cup um we don't really have much going on i know there's been a lot of issues with other people with supporters with um sponsors and everything but you know i'm just trying to put something together it's not anything crazy but you know it just gives everyone opportunity to to participate and do something outside of just doing rank standard and whatever aos cups matches people can get into i respect that. i respect that a lot that's what's up man um yeah, and but but yes Oh, me. We will be following the, the map court bands for this. Okay, explain the bands for us if you don't mind. So currently, and this is updated as of as of four twenty nine was the last time map court let out the updates. Um, the current band list is Cramorant altogether, Clefable, Follow Me, uh, Blastoise has been unbanned, but Rapid Spin and Water Spell is still banned. Glaceon Icicle Spear is still banned. Zoroark Night Slash is banned now. Lapras is, um, from what I gathered, it's banned because there are some bugs in its um, regen and with its healing that it's not consistent. And then Chandel Chandelure has the two-week um, standard ban. Okay. Sure, 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 because that character just, I mean, character, that Pokemon uh, just came out. I do apologize for saying character. I am mainly play fighting games, so we usually just say character but uh again tonight's matchup is a best of three correct best of yeah, three best of three just to see just to see where we're you know where the first matchup starts we have a couple of matchups that span out between the whole week you know the hardest part is trying to get everyone to be on the same time sweet yes again we we do have wfn versus lost heroes um, I couldn't get a mascot for Lost Hero, so I just put dra Dragon Dragon Paul because their logo kind of looked dragonish. I know they had a logo for the Sinu uh, for WFN, so I put that there. I did not have enough time to actually put their real logos, and for some oh, reason, oh. my OBS was <laughs> acting up. <laughs> so I yeah, so it's my mistake. The I sent you the WFN logo, and then the Decidueye one was the Lost Heroes. It's my mistake. I should have followed up with you on that one. Oh, okay. My bad, my bad. It's all good. <laughs> this is a placement. When we when we start the, the league, we'll have everything up and running. But yes, again, this is a best of three exhibition match, scrims, which, whatever you want to call it, between WFN versus Lost Heroes. Who do you feel like is going to win in this uh, scrimmage or exhibition? Honestly, I have no idea. I, you know, I haven't, I haven't had the opportunity to play with any of the WFN uh, kids. Um, as far as from Lost Heroes, the only person I really played with was Rain. So I, I can't really say anything. I don't really know any team comps or anything. I know that WFN has two, they have a pretty big group that they broke up into twos to participate in the league. Oh, wow. So, so, yeah, they have about, I think they said they have about, like, 20 members altogether, but they broke it up into twos of the people who could commit, because our league is seven people max per team to allow for two sub-ins if someone can't make it. Okay. Nice. So, so we're going to go ahead and head to the tournament. Oh, I mean, sorry, to the to the match. We're about to get started. <clears throat> so Jordan, go ahead and call off the bands when you see them. So I can go and put them on the screen. 
All right, so we're waiting to see. There's still 20 seconds left before it's confirmed. I wonder who they're gonna ban. And the two bands are Dodrio and Espeon. Dodrio and Espeon, all right. Pretty interesting bands to pick. And with the first pick, we have WFN Anthony going first with a Hoopa. Following up, we got, I think Herm Worm is sticking to Slowbro. Nice. And we'll see who's Rain going to pick. And Rain is going with Mew. Do you want to, which lane do you want to spectate top or bottom? I'll, I'll spectate bottom lane. Okay, I'll go top and then I'll switch it to, to bottom lane if you see something going on. Yep, I'll let you know. Okay, so we got we got Decidui and Guardi. You know, I have a hot tape right now on Guardi. I'm really convinced that once Chandelure is allowed, that we won't see Guardi anymore. I think yeah. we got Truck. Yeah, because um, what was it? You're playing, you're playing Ch uh, Chandelier by the night, and you're just <laughs> you're you're wrecking. <laughs> once I once I put people to sleep with Jiggly, I mean Wiggly, you were just pew, 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 pew. <laughs> I'm like, damn. You know, you know what, first, I just think that it's the fact that Guardi's um I think it's Psy Shock, the three hits. Mm hmm Overheat just makes it redundant at that point because you could you could get the three hits in plus a fourth <laughs> hit and you're mobile with it whereas And Guardi you have burn damage. Yeah. So unless we find a counter to stun meta, or once it changes, maybe Guardi will see more light in it. All right, so <laughs> just vibing, going with the Clefable. We just got to make sure, oh. And then Anthony and Meow just glitched. All right, so I'm looking at WFN's team and they have, they have a solid, 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 balanced team. You have, you have the Rangers. You have the support. You have okay. the tanks, because Goods can be tanky if, if she wants to. Same thing with with Tyranitar and you know, Hooba as well. If they went with that build. Now for the other team, there's a lot of um. There's like one range attack. I mean, I want to consider. Slow bro range because he does have range attacks, but he's more of like a tank, tanky was, hyper armor character that's just gonna annoy well, everybody. There was definitely there was a lot of subs in between both teams. If you saw Anthony switch from from Hoopa to Decidueye, and mm. the bottom Rain switched with uh, J Dog for Cliff Fable and switched his Cliff Fable for Trev. So we'll really see what's going on. But like you're saying. Lost Heroes right now, they they have a really good front line. The problem is that we'll see how they counter WFN because they have all back line with that Guardian Decidueye. Exactly. So unless they can hard push, or we'll see what Mew can do. If Mew can, if Mew can cycle through his moves properly, then uh, we'll, it'll probably be the deciding factor, honestly. I'm I'm all for having having a team be tanky, but at least at least have two two rangers, two range attackers. That's just me. So we got Titar and Koopa going bottom for WFN, and then we have Trev and Clefable on the opposite side. Nice. On top we have Hoodie and Anthony versus Ken Kenworm, and it looks like. Just Vivens going on top, so there's probably going to be some stacking involved. It was weird because they split jungle, but Mute does get its first move at four, so. Seems like a lack of communication on that part.
All right, let me see what's going on down here. Bottom's just trading blows right now. Mew just came up. Let's see what they could do with the support with the support from the jungler. Their bottom is very tanky. They should have early game advantage, but we'll see how WFM plays it. All right, Rain goes and drops a 10. Transforms to Trevenant. The birds are here. Going in with that wood hammer. Nice moonlight from Danda. All right, and then we got the, at the top lane we got right now. Same thing, small push, nothing crazy. No one's over committing right now. But they are committing. Uh, Krelia's coming down by Aiden. Coming down to help his peoples. And I believe they saw that and now they're just go going to base and just chilling. So we'll see. All right, up top, we took out Slow Bro. We took out their Slow Bro. We'll see what's going on. Their middle is about to pop up. See who goes up to fight for the middle farm. All right, there goes Aiden. Get in that middle farm. Oh, there goes J Dog. Throwing in that thunder, getting that shield in. Ducky managed to steal most of it at what cost? Ooh. And Rain comes in. Nice kill from J Dog. Aiden's going away, making sure that he does not get killed. The true test of this of this WFN team is going to come once they're all fully aboard. We'll see what happens. But right now, Lost Heroes is making a hard push to take advantage. Oh yes. I feel like WFN may may go with the late game meta because they do have a late they do have a lot of late game uh, Pokemon. So yeah, I mean, we'll see how they go. And oh, we have some action going on bot lane. Yeah, we got four pushing on bot. All five of them are bot for WFN. Lost heroes taking time to recoup. Ooh, the telekinesis from Chemworm. It's a little unorthodox to see in the meta right now, watching the telekinesis surf slow, bro. Oh, yes. Usually want to go with the uh, amnesia and uh, scold. Get that peel damage going on for your team. I mean, I guess I, I guess it makes sense with going with Trev. Trev really has the wall. The slow bro can just CC. That is true. That is true. Oh, slow bro is down. Rudra is down. Oh, so is the Thysinjuai. Uh, it's all down to Guardi. Looks like Lost Heroes is going to take the first objective bot lane. No, oh, they're still not there. They're you see WFN's back in position. Do they have enough time to steal it? And Let's they see. Did. Yes, they did. Then J Dog secured that. They're going top to take the Lecky. Let's see, what is Lost Heroes doing? They are at right, Slow Bro's farming. Just and five and activations all, and he oh, takes it. They stole the Lecky. So the first wave of like of Reggie's go to Lost Heroes. This is a very, very um, unorthodox team comp, but it's working for them right now. You know, you don't really see Lucario anymore. You really don't. You really, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, that is true. You really don't. You know, there's a couple players when I play rank that I know that are good Lucario players, but aside from that, after all the nerf saying, you really saw what, what people actually used them because they knew how to use them and what people were just spamming. Mm -hmm. And just Vibe just showing off that, you know, he's executing the Bone Rush Extreme Speed very well. Yeah, the the the, the, um, the Pokemon that you see more in rank on my end is a lot of uh, Zoroark. Oh, Zoroark just because it's the, it's the Battle Pass uh, mascot. Yes, but that Pokemon does hurt. <laughs> Oh, bad miscommunication on WFN's part. Anthony scored two. Gudra scored two for an even cap. Gudra could, I mean, the Guardi could have scored an over cap by 35, but 
There's still a lot of game to play. Exactly. Alright, Anthony's going in with the snipe. Hits can worm with it. But again, doesn't really phase Slowbro with Telkinesis. Ducky is out. We got an ult from Anthony. He is running away. Going up that shadow sneak. Gonover gets hit with the hammer. Oh, I'm sorry, you were saying? No, I said at this point, I think their best bet would be to pull back and just start farming instead of engaging. Exactly. Their team isn't built to go head on with their their snipers being on level. I mean, now it's Barty's fault to compete, but Sidua has got to get up. Oof. That moonlight and gravity was protecting everybody. Making sure that anyone from WFN was not going to escape that fight. Ooh, so rain is down. Oh. All right, we have an X, X speed from Anthony. Going over the snipe. Oh, no, Lucario secures it. All right, WFN takes the second Reggie steal bot lane. You know, they're really executing that surf slow bro to their advantage, and it's really nice to see that moveset being utilized in the right team comp. Exactly. Like you said before, we did see it when Rain was going in with the tackle and getting in that, that health, pushing the enemy away. The Surf was right behind it, adding that extra damage. Alright, going in with that Telekinesis. Hoopa going with the trick. I think with the double kill. Oh, triple kill. Alright. Looks like Lost do. Heroes is going for the second uh, objective, top lucky. Oh, never mind. Ray oh, Craze nope. is here. Now we have a real game, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see how this goes. No one was in position. All right, Hoopa ult. It feels like this game just flew by. Oh, Garni ult. All right, going in with the... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Oh, they, oh, they took out their healer. All right, Hoodie gets hit with the telekinesis. Rain's coming in with the wood hammer. Oh. Oh, the Sinuai is alive. Oh, we have an ult on Mew, but oh, on Meow, game. sorry. Oh, it looks like Kenworm is going to get. Oh, oh he. Oh, that. Oh, oh almost. That hyper armor. Oh, just vibing. It's going in. Oh, Garnivore makes it. Oh, Aiden gets gets killed by the Rayquaza. Oh, my God. Oh, Kudra going in with the back cap. Oh, Ooh, nice 82 from from Meows. Meows is trying to get away. We got we got T Tar back capping. T Tar is back capping. It looks like Lost Heroes is going in trying to get that Rayquaza. Lost Heroes is winning all game. Let's see what happens. They're playing from behind right now. Hoodie is making sure that he stops the Clefable from hitting any more of that Rayquaza. This is a fight, ladies and gentlemen. There is 10 seconds left. Nice Garniol from Aiden. What a comeback. Score 22, not enough. What a comeback from WFN. Like I said, the minute it hits two minutes that's when the game actually starts you can score you can have all the caps you want but if that ray gets stolen and the enemy team wins even though you're annihilating them in the beginning <laughs> that's what happens it's a gamble it's a gamble you know it was it was definitely nice to see. No one got the ray. It was a nice even fight. No one got wiped. It all came down to I would say it came it came down to who 
we just positioned themselves properly. That guardy ran away when it needed to. T Tar came in for chip damage, and you know it was smart for Lost Heroes to to just go back and heal. But ultimately, that ended up being what cost in the match instead of ripping Ray. Exactly. I'm just waiting to get an invite back into the lobby. Same here. <laughs> They really need to fix this where you get kicked out of everything. Uh, yeah, they know that people host tournaments and all that for this, and they still haven't, like... <laughs> they still haven't done that. Baffles me. Alright, I will invite you right now. I just got an invite from Rain. Alright. Thank you. Are you gonna, no, you're gonna switch sides, right? Yeah, I'm letting them know right now to switch, um, to switch with the teams, switch positions so that we have. Oh, I got kicked out of, uh, oh, never mind. I'm here. No, it just, um, I guess it just, it just, um, the game just froze for me real quick because they were just switching me to leader again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I had a, I had a weird screen. So we're just waiting right now for them to switch. Yep, now they're switching. And we'll give them... I will give them until 35, so it's about four minutes so they can get any sort of conversation or any strategies worked over. Exactly. And new bands, hopefully. The Espeon band made sense. I don't know if any of them actually played Del Drio. Yeah. Uh, I have seen many people that do play Del do Drio that have participated um, like when I play with them personally. Mm -hmm. But I, Del Drio is just dominating tournaments left and right. Oh yes, especially... Um, there. I've seen maybe three to four styles of... Uh, Dodrio, you have the, the 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 pesky pressure Dodrio that will come in for the gank and hit you and push you out of the way so that um, their teammates can score score. Then you have the back tap Dodrio because of course you know he scores he scores points three times you know but it's divided of course. Then you have the I'm gonna hide in the bush and all Do Dodrio and snipe. Sniper Equaza, and then you have the one that just annihilates everybody. Yeah, I mean, I play, I do, I did pick up the drill last season just to try to counter a lot of the CC to push through with Foyo, and I did find myself like I, I prioritize just coming in from their their side of the field and pushing them towards our pad to make for easy kills. But aside from that, it was just. A lot of the games we won was because I would back half and use my Unite to steal objectives, but it's, def it's definitely a character that the team supports it more than what it gets credit for. That is true. Because it does nothing when, and, and this goes to like playing on rank and playing with randoms that don't understand how the drill works, and you try to push objectives and everything their way for them just to ignore it altogether. So we'll see. I mean, I really hope to see another another band. I would love to see a Del Drill right now. I know that uh, one of the teams in our in the league, uh, Honest Work, they do have a very very good Del Drill comfy combo. So I'm looking forward to seeing them in action as well. C comfy, wow. With Del Drill, oof. Yeah, I it can see it. I can see it. I can see it. It is a little unorthodox. It's a little weird to to see, especially from just the fact that it's just the fact that you don't really you don't really survive enough that you should be getting you should have a comfy on you. But that magical leaf stun makes all the difference if you're running try attack instead of drill back. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. 
I can see that a lot. All right, we just got it's a little under a minute now before we start the second match. So right now we have, right now we have leading it is WFN with they had a slow start to the game, but they regrouped when it mattered. And we'll see how Lost Heroes responds to to WFN. So going in, we'll see who bans what. So now last time we had WFN, we had Anthony going first with the first pick. This time we'll have Rain going first, and then Buddy and Meow going with the sec with the two second picks. Let's see. We have first match was awesome, better than the NBA playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the NBA playoffs have been all over the place. <laughs> I really did not think this matchup was gonna come down to two back halves. Oh man, like I told you, like I said, like I said, man, the minute they hit the two minute mark hits, that's when Unite actually becomes a real game. We got Guardi and Slowbro band this time. Oof. They didn't want to deal with that telekinesis. Yeah, you know what? The Guardi band makes a lot of sense because that unites with both them and put them in position. Exactly. Okay, and now WFS with a little bit more defensive. They're really sticking to the Hoopa. Yeah, your Hoopa Hoopas are really, really good. Um, really good to have on your team. Cause um. Oh, what was that? I feel like last season I didn't see a lot of Hoopas, and then this season Hoopas has been coming back into play. It's very good. Yeah. Well, they, they bought Hoopa last season, but Hoopas, um, people have been playing Hoopa differently, and now because of the EXP share buff, Hoopa's a lot more viable, especially with that cooldown reduction on And Zuna. Lapras. You have a yep. Hoopa with Lapras? You I mean, go. Going to ult, get, surf, and <laughs> then ult, ult to call your peoples in. Yeah, or you could just surf in. Yup. This is interesting. We have an LD and a Sableye. I wonder what build uh, J Dog is going to use. I what wonder. Do you, what do you guys oh. think of Comfy? Hmm. Oh man, Comfy, Comfy I mean, has been... I, I, I played Comfy when when it came out and it was fun when it was Comfy or Sifu. It was fun. I like that comp, but I haven't I haven't touched Comfy since. Um, because I've been rocking Slowbro a lot, but now I'm going back to my OG main, which is Wiggly Tough, and... I don't know, maybe, maybe one game I'll hop on Comfy and I'll <laughs> come back and give you an answer on how I feel about it. But from yeah. from the day day one day one uh, perspective, I enjoyed the Pokemon a lot. It was bust. I mean, it's still busted. But again, this was before Zacian became was a thing. It was Urshifu. It was Urshifu, uh, Tyranitar, and who else? Sure. Who else was it that I? Oh, and freaking uh, Zor Zoroark too. Yeah, it was v then Venusaur got mixed in there, and once Trevenant got that heavy, heavy buff, it was game over with Comfy. Yep. Just heals up the heels. <laughs> I, I truly wish that, um, and I get, it just add a little bit more balance to the game, is just get rid of the CC from Comfy and just allow it to just heal. You don't need it to heal and stun, because at that point, like, you could go in with a, a duo that's a good Urshifu and Comfy, and that's all you need. All right, so we here we go. Game two. We haven't seen a Comfy yet. All right, just five and going in with that beam. All right, it's a little confusion going on. Are we doing? What are we doing? Oh shit! We're doing one one three. I haven't seen that, uh... Oh, no, never mind. We're not doing 113. Okay? I was about to say, wow, I haven't seen that style in, like, years. Yeah, it was early game. We used to see Snorlax take top lane on its own. I remember people used to complain about the 113 meta. <laughs> yeah, now, 
Yeah, there's no, there's no appeasing everybody. Just like people still go on about how much they miss Zapdos, but everyone hated Zapdos towards the end of the, towards the end of its run. I had no issue with Zapdos. And if I did complain about it, it was because. Anyway, let's get back to the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Aiden coming in with the, the Water Bear. Slapping everybody around, all right. Got the yeah. Hoopa, Hoopa portal. Oh, oh, rain is out. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, here, how you playing Street Fighter? Oh, oh, almost. <laughs> Damn, he was, oh. I thought he was about to bust up the region demon right there, but he didn't do it, man. Oh. At that point, it didn't even look like Street Fighter. It looked more like an old <laughs> Tekken combo. Oh, yeah, that is true. Yeah, Tekken combo. He pulled, pulled out that Kazuya from Smash <laughs> Brothers combo. That's crazy. You know Kazuya just got banned? <laughs> I'm so pissed off about that. But anyway, let's get back to this Unite action. We'll talk about Smash Brothers later. All right, this so is... mid mid spawn yeah. came in. Oh, the whole team is there. Okay, I like this. I like this. I like this a lot. I, you know, I feel like WFM was just poking them a little bit game one, and now their their early game changed drastically. Oh yeah. Bottom That's... lane. The three. That's what I like about these um these teams. Like <laughs> they have, I want to say like a playbook for everything. They're like, all right, well. This didn't happen this game. Let's let's go with this formation, you know, let's yeah. see how this formation goes. So that's probably what they're doing right now. Yeah, and that's also the reason why that for this league, I allowed for each team to basically go in with seven players instead of just the traditional five. On top of people want to make it, it is play to your advantage. If you have a member on your team that could, for example, if you need a Cinderace instead of a Decidueye, you could swap out your member and it's completely legal because they're part of your team. Nice. But yes, this bot lane action is going on right now. Everyone's coming in. Everyone's getting pieced out. We're getting the teleports in. Trevenant got pieced out by Garnivore. I mean, uh, Eldegoss, sorry. It's, yeah, I mean, every, there's no one at top lane. Everyone's disregarding top lane. And we'll see what kind of fight we have. I'm waiting to see what this table is going to be able to pull out. Ooh, Aiden going in. Oh, he, he does the Tekken combo, like you said. Oh. There nice all go. from Rain. Smart, okay. smart. I just vibing with the Mew Surf secure. Ooh, all right, we yep. got a snipe from Ducky. It's so crazy because you don't see don't see Mew in any American play. You see it all in European play. Oh, for real? Yeah, Mew is not viable in North America, but it is very, very viable in Europe. Also, um, th this must be a European player then. Oh, uh, presumably, or he just watches it. Like I, I picked up Buzzwell after I saw what he did in the Euro Cup. Nice. And it was weird because, you know, seeing them having an Urshifu, I was expecting someone on Lost Hero with the last pick to snipe up uh, Buzzwell to be able to counter it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, right now, Lost Heroes has advantage. WFN did start off strong, but on the board, they're winning. Oh, yeah. Especially with the slow, um, slow bro. I mean, sorry, Snorlax on their team. It's doing a lot of help, and then you, you have you have the Eldegoss dropping in the heels, making sure that everyone is secured. And of course, from the back lane, you have Rain just throwing in those side shocks, stunning everybody. Yep, Rain is playing. Rain is playing very very smart right now, going bottom lane, getting ready for you to come down. There goes those heels. <laughs> Slam! Nice. Ooh. Going in with that flash cannon. Got a couple of pokes in, but it wasn't enough to kill. Alright, everyone's yeah. teleporting bot. I'm calling it now. I'm a, I'm calling it now. The strategy that Lost Hero is going to have to go with is they're going to do the complete opposite last match where they're going to rely on Sableye to win the game. 
if Lost Heroes ends up winning this, they're gonna win because of Sableye. Because this Sableye right now is level 11, it's just holding its own. With the back caps. It's just scoring, you know, as much as kills or Ooh. anything make a difference. At the end of the day, if that, if that, um, like we saw last match, if that Sableye can score for them when they need it, it's got a big team wipe. That it wasn't a big team wipe, but it was two Pokemon, two ca uh, teammates <laughs> holding their own against five people. If you would have saw that damage that I was seeing right now, I'm surprised that again two two people from Lost Heroes was dealing that much damage. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing really, really good team play now. Lost Heroes really pull, 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 pulling it together. Ooh, like, like, look at that. Just with the Elder Goss throwing in the heal, the heal bomb on on uh, Snorlax, and Snorlax is using Slam, it literally took half of their health. Yes. Or, no, I don't think El emblems are allowed. And no, I think I think in custom games there's no uh, emblems. So in in traditional tournament matches, yes, there. In traditional tournament matches, there are no emblems. However, in this matchup, because of the way that I set up the league where I wanted it just to be more so, a little more enjoyable, and for everyone to be a little bit more diverse for Ales Cup, emblems are allowed in this league because it's not tournament rules. Gotcha, but that, gotcha. that also means that you are responsible for whatever characters you own, whatever levels, like the levels for the items. You could look at it as best uh, pay to win, but it's not pay to win because if you're playing this game, you should have your own move sets and everything ready kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. So it's, you know, emblems are a little funky in Pokemon Unite the way that the game allows it, but, you know, most of these, most of these players here have been playing long enough that they have something that works for their characters. All right, Ken Worm needs to watch out. Going over the slam. Anthony and going in with the the gravity. The and then right. needless. Oh, you're needless, saying? I, aside from everything, like Zacian is permanently banned from the league. Even though Math Court does allow it to be played, we just it's just to avoid the frustrations that a lot of people are seeing with the Pokemon. All right, let's get let's get back to this fight right here that we're seeing. Everyone's going in, doing the folks, backing up, heal. Coming back, poking again. Eldegoss going up the ult. We get, we got WFN meows with the Hoopa oh. ult. Throwing in these oh. order auras. Eldegoss is eliminated. Oh. Anthony is eliminated. Earthseep is coming in. All healers are out. Oh. Hayden out here playing Tekken, not Pokemon Unite. <laughs> We'll see what happens now. You know, it was a good, it was a good fight, but now with Elder Goss back, Sableye being back on the field is dangerous for WFF. Mm. We'll see what they do with that Sableye back in play. I'm keeping a close eye on Sable as right now he's racked with 50 oh. points and changed him. And they're keeping their Clefable back for a jump. Oh, will she oh. make it? He oh, didn't make it! He didn't ma oh, he didn't make it! Oh, no, they definitely need to take that. WFX going for the going for the race deal. Oh, Ooh. let's see. Can they do it? Fable doesn't have enough points. Oh, I think our is going in. I think is here. They, they have enough time. They can make it. No. Oh, my God. The Miu save. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You called it. You called it. You called it. I told you. That's Sableye. It's really weird to see Sableye on competitive teams, but it holds its own when it does. You predicted that match. Wow. This is, you know, this is crazy to see this rain. So think about it like this. Rain and Mew combined for almost, almost 250k damage to hold down the whole team. 
I, the WFM very, very all around across the board, but you know, I think that their strategy was to try to rip with Duraladon, given how last match was, but mm -hmm. on to the next, we're tied at 1-1. One, one. Exactly, Cowboy Fanatic, it was a game of inches. But like I was saying before, man, just those two Pokemon in the bottom taking down four, it was four, and just dealing that damage, it, that, that's crazy. While while the other two were protecting top to get the Regilecki, because I know they killed they killed one Pokemon. I think it was Miyu that they killed, so Miyu was recovering to come back, but man, that's amazing from from um Lost Heroes. That was a that was a very, very well played out game. Alright, so we're we're switching back again. Yep, we're swapping again. I'm letting them know now. Yeah, it was Perfect. amazing back cap. Also, by the way, guys, we will have this match uploaded on my YouTube channel right after this tournament. It will take like at least 15, 20 minutes for it to upload. So right after it uploads, I will post it on the Discord so that everyone can watch it and review their matches and stuff like that. Yeah, that's the, the best part about these matches, whether you win or lose, all that matters is that is that everyone gains something from this, whether it be for their own play to take it forward into AO's Cup or to mark. Now it would be, I think, I think um, AO's Cup is done for now. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, because I know May Cup just started or starting next week. Yeah, uh, I believe so. I haven't, I've been on and off with the with the AO's AO's Cup week because I've been working on other projects but i believe they're taking they're, they took a small break and the may one's starting soon yeah i mean last what was it, i think it was last night or or a couple days ago we saw um, we saw a team dark horse go against ttv and they shocked everyone by going with the zero or comfy combo and it was one of the most unorthodox things in the current meta and if it wasn't for the the misclick on the move set and then the early unite they almost won it being carried by an off-meta jungler. So, you know, anything's really possible with this game. Like, everyone preaches meta and all these characters, and, you know, you play in ranked matches, and you only see the same five mods, but if you really want to, you could play anything. If you've got three, four people, or even if you want to go fives, I know that fives have been rough for a lot of people with the whole, um, you got all these bigger teams practicing in ranked, and it, it just feels like a complete wipeout. But you see right now, these teams were a little weird. We didn't, I've never seen any of these teams in like a big tournament, but it's definitely good to see team comps working well together. Exactly. And even goes back to when I used to play like, like League of Legends, it was if you weren't running meta, you usually lost with Pokemon Unite. Even, even being off meta, the game allows you to make up for that in just like skill set. So just letting them know it is currently 10.53 p.m. and we're going to start it at 10.55. I will start the next match and this will be the final on the set and see who takes home the W. Exactly. There's 1-1 one, one currently. Let's get back to the tournament feed. I mean, sorry, the, the exhibition feed. Yep, so currently right now we... We sit at 1-1. This is the first match of the tournament. We are looking to have another one, I believe, tomorrow. They're scheduling it. And that one should that one should be a good match. I think Honest Work is in it. Oh. Honest Work. Didn't you guys play them the first time I streamed? Oh, yeah. You guys? They, yeah, they really, they, they really made us pick and choose and, and really, really nitpick our gameplay at that point because we made a lot of mistakes against them and the problem with these teams is when they're that well coordinated, any small mistake is game. And we ended up seeing that where we just we just fall behind and we never recoup recuperated. So I'm excited to see them play and see how they fare against I gotta double check whom they're playing. 
uh, checking right now. I have the league schedule on my phone, so I'm actually going off of who they're going to play tomorrow. So just give me a second while I get this together. Yeah, this of is... course. Take your time, man. So they're going to... I believe they're going to play Team AFK. I got to get in contact with the team leader because they do have a situation going on where they're not going to compete past in the, in the next two weeks I think they're done so we're going to see what, what happens with them or if they have a sub in that comes in for them gotcha so we shall see who plays tomorrow you see that I believe it's uh, team drip that's going against WFN2 oh. okay nice yeah I know I know Squirtle I know Squirtle's Zen he participated and uh, my friend Odd Pikas and, and myself we hosted the Chaos League and his team joined as well and it was really cool i think they um i believe they won no 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 they got second place i think it was uh who was it that won? i know i know the person's name he's he's in the squirtles then now um cloud Kyle? cloud he's cloud cloud's team cloud's team won if i'm not mistaken he and now cloud cloud's bad it's cloud's bad now cloud's bad with squirtles then Mm, okay. So let's. So that's cool. Yeah, they they won the tournament. They yeah, won the they, they won the chaos league, but um, but Squirtles that was winning, was winning at one point. All right, so they're banning our Sifu. Yep, they're really going hard for this for this ban. All right, so before we start this match again, guys, I posted the link there. It's youtube.com dash final wave gaming one. If you guys go in there, hit that subscribe button for free. It'll help the channel out a lot. I'm trying to get to 100 subs and we'll do a giveaway. If we hit that goal, it'll probably be a $10 um, Nintendo eShop card. You know, if you want to use it for Pokemon want to use it for anything you want to do dlc i mean if you're into xenoblade the xenoblade dlc just came out which i'm gonna purchase soon xenoblade 3 freaking adult rex adult shulk oh man it looks dope or you can hold on to it for the pokemon uh scarlet and violet dlc that's coming this summer the first one and then the second one's in around christmas time so you can save up for that you know ten dollars off i believe it's like 30 bucks for the dlc or, you know, again, you can use it for Pokemon Unite, get a new character. Uh, SB, S, I mean, uh, Umbreon's coming out, I believe. This is the next Maybe. one. Yeah, Umbreon. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm saving, I'm saving for Umbreon. I'm going to skip, skip Ch uh, Chandelier. So this is interesting. So we have Blastoise on Lost Heroes, which is going to be an interesting pick because I don't... I, me personally, I don't see the viability in a comfy on a Blastoise that can't run Rapid Spin, and Rapid Spin and Water Spell is technically banned right now. Oh wow, that, so, that is true. Unless that comfy is going to stick to the Dodrio, I don't see the, the viability in it. But I could be wrong. They are going a very very tanky set with the Blissey the Blastoise and the Comfy to support, but WFN does have a good counter to those two, to Delphox and Dodrio in Gudra and Trev. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I spaced out for a second. So yeah, you were talking about Comfy, right? Yeah. Hi, so we were mentioning earlier that you know we might not see this Pokemon, but here we go. We're, we're actually seeing it for the last match. Yeah, we'll see. Like I said, Blastoise, if, if they were planning to run Blastoise Comfy, it's going to be weird to see with Hydro Pump and Surf. Unless, um, what we were talking about earlier with the Comfy Dodrio combo. Yeah, you're not wrong. We could see Comfy on Dodrio, or even see it on Delphox. Delphox Comfy's been mm. not consistent, but we'll see if it works. I forgot about that. 
it works. It does work, but you gotta be on point with that with that combo because you, you're you're playing the poke game. You're playing the poke game, but it's more if there's a decidueye because if that decidueye comes in and snipes, you know you can just heal off rip with the comfy to to save your um to save your Del Fox because if there's no comfy then it's a 50 50 chance that that Del Fox is gonna die. Yeah, and we have Comfy Del Trio on bottom lane. All right, so we were correct that those two were going to be a combination. And then we have a top lane, we have Blissey and Squirtle. That's, I mean, Chansey and Squirtle. That's interesting. All right, Anthony's trying to get that uh, level four so that he can evolve into Espeon. We'll see. They are they are putting some pressure up top bottom lane right now. It's they're really just poking the Dodrio got a couple of stacks in, but it's overcommitted with the ten points right right now. Ooh, the flash, but doesn't kill. But that kills. That kills. Aiden goes in with the with the first kill, I believe. Oh, that. Oh, Rain's going in. Watch that go. And they have a Dodrio already. We'll oh. see how this Dodrio plays out. All right, Anthony becomes an Espeon. Ooh, goes in with that side beam. Pieces out the Squirtle. All right, Hoodie is is a Trevenant. Trevenant is up at top. We got Trevenant Espeon ready. Ooh, going and in with that Wood Hammer. Using Woodhammer to set up for a stack. We got Dodrill waiting for middle farm. SV Trap going middle while Hoopa and Curly have come up to middle as well. Like they the whole are all team. Yeah. Middle farm. yeah, the whole team, the whole team formation. Yep, Rain over committed on top lane, and we'll see if they can counter counter to them over leveling. So it looks like it's like yeah, they're pushing, but in a way, it's also passive. Both teams are being very, very passive with their pushes, but I see that while while Lost Heroes does have two people at seven already, they oh. are also committing. Yep, and they just got the Dutch Rear just got white. Uh, tr tragically programmed. I'll have to refund you your two hundred points back. I took off the never give up thing for 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 when I do exhibitions and tournaments. That way it doesn't <laughs> doesn't make noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was doing a tournament and I totally forgot to take it off and they were spamming it left and right. Like it was funny, but then it got annoying afterwards. <laughs> like the first the first five times cool, but when it was like Every freaking second I had to turn it off. Yeah. Oh, and again goes the drill goes down again. I, I don't know. I don't know what what's going on with lost heroes, but the drill is starting to overcommit. <laughs> And now, WFM with the hard push on top lane. Ooh, Hoodie's just going in. With the right. fort. Nice ult. But yep. the Squirtle just surfs away. Alright, the Drio's dead. Now j Dog's about to get pieced out. Oh, gets saved by the Blissey. Jumps on Rain. Rain's going in with the Mystical Fire. Oh, Egg Bomb. You know, it's crazy to think last season we didn't see Bell Fox in any in any competitive play due to the ban. And even now we're still barely seeing Bell Fox. Let's see what Lost Heroes can do because now they're they're not in a bad spot, but they're not ideal being down two goals. Ooh, what hammer? Alright, Gujo said come over here. Alright, we got the Blissey ult. Protection. Alright, we got the Gonfi ult. 
You know, he's throwing in the grass. We're about to cut it right now. Ooh. Blissey, Blissey goes in with the heels. Ooh, nice egg bomb from Blissey. Oh, j -Gog got killed by Anthony. Nice ult from Rain, throwing in the fireworks. Rain going in. Will he take out Ducky? No, nope, Ducky is going to walk away. Nice score on top from... Nice score. From just vibing. All right, Hoodie's pushing them away. And see how they can fare with the rest of the match. I mean, right now it is. Oh, they're not, they're not down by much that it makes much of a difference. That ult. I totally forgot that the hoop ult for a second. I was like, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Did, did, did Hoodie just like hack into a hard bot? <laughs> just so we. Just so we um, reiterate on it, so Curve did stick to Hydro, Hydro Pump and Surf, so there's no issues there. However, if Kerm would have picked the wrong move, it would have resulted in a forfeit at that point. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that, that is true. That is yeah. true, because... Cause... You've got to be mindful, because if we are investing the time into these matches and everything, the least the least you could do is be... If you're going to use a character that has a moveset, then you've got to be careful. Ooh, nice ult from Just Vibing getting out of there. Did not want to be a, a part of that AOE damage. Oh, he's going to kill Anthony. Oh, he gets it and he takes the Lecky. Oh, no, oh. Trevenant takes it. Wow. Let's see what they do. It looks like Blasters and Blissey are going to stick on the Alecky. Delphox is, is looking for her window to attack. We'll see what happens. This Lost Heroes team is in their ideal position, but we will see how they fare in late game. Yeah, right now, Lost Heroes is backing up, trying to get farm as much as they can to level up. WFN's getting setting up for the bottom objective. We won't see we won't see Reggie Lecky before before Ray. Very unlikely that we'll be able to see one. Yeah, I don't see think we're gonna have a lucky. If it does, then that's a miracle. But right now they are going for the Reggie Rock. Is there enough first? And Yep. But now they gotta account for which team is gonna set up properly for Ray. Yeah, it looks like just uh Oh, they're they're fighting already. Oh, okay. There is no pressure on just five. Oh, we're just we're just wasting ults right now. Ooh, hoodie is out. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah, this is this they're taking advantage of this push right now. It is a Ooh, and that's a hundred right there from Rain. Wow. Oh, back in the lead. Looks like just Vibin's gonna go in back cap. Just waiting. We'll see what happens. Right now this game's turned completely around. And it looks like Dodrio is going to commit to back cap. Alright, we have the ult from Hoopa. They're trying they're trying to eliminate just five but just five and just took off the hoopa now it's trevenant versus just five and hoodie versus just five and hoodie gets eliminated just oh, five and's good. going for that for that cap go go and and he ends it oh. with all three goals 100 wow. points Oh, who ends up with the ray? Who ends up with the ray? Hoopa's there. Hoopa's there. Hoopa can get in the Phantom Force to steal it. Uh-oh. And Hoopa's out. Wow, what a comeback. What a comeback that made WFN surrender. You know... At the end, at the end of it, it was a hard push. It was odds were stacked against them. WFN did play very well. They did. They have a couple things that they need to work on cohesively. But at the end of the day, playing against the Dodrio is just almost impossible. If 
if you don't play it properly and that comfy just adds an extra headache yeah just vibing straight up said hey man i know i wasn't doing good early game i have to make that comeback i have to let my team know that i got this and he did he yeah, came I'm back just... came back late game you know at rain i know rain is our cap rain and just vibing are co-capped so you know rain you gotta get just vibing some icy hot for carrying that game <laughs> But nice. it was definitely it was definitely a great matchup. WFN came in, played from behind game one, stole the win game one. Game two came down to the wire. They played it smart with the Sable Eye back cap to win the game. And then game three just came down to WFN wasn't in a position to take the fight on that early. And Lost Hero just capitalized properly. And we'll see how they play going forward. Yeah, let's Oh, hopefully they uh they'll, they'll learn from this and w once I have the videos and everything uploaded they can look back and see what they um, need to work on yeah ultimately we'll see what they need to work on and like I said once we have at least a couple games recorded I will sit down and we can try to do a top plays video so whoever whoever wants to see it on your YouTube channel or in Obviously, in our Discord, they will be able to check it out, see, and see what we think about these matches going on. But ultimately, it all comes down to just everyone have a good time, enjoy, enjoy the gameplay, and take a little bit to de-stress from playing ranked and having to deal with the headaches of randoms. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Again, from from what I've seen, like this league is going to be good. They're going to be friendly. Everyone's going to, um, you know do their best to be number one so don't take this um first to three as a um an l or dropping morale take this as you gain the experience you need to make yourself be better at this game so even if you lost always take that as a w because there was a lot of good plays from wfm trust me yeah they were they they came out strong game one they came out strong game two and the game on strong this last game same thing goes to lost heroes they played they played amazing game as well they had a little bit of hiccups in one of their games but they came back strong and we saw it here tonight ladies and gentlemen yeah unfortunately one was the winner of the set but it was a great matchup between both teams and all we could do is just going forward that each team learns where they can improve because you know sometimes winning's not all that matters just seeing where you can improve on exactly. and, with that, and with that being said going forward into the league whoever plays in their first week matchup is their rivals so we are going to see wfn and lost heroes play at least one more time See if they can even out the series. Yeah, got that rival match going on. And trust me, we will be keeping an eye on on who plays who and what what kind of I wanna say we can have some beef going on, but keep it keep it keep it at a at a at a at a level that it doesn't go overboard. Because I do like to see teams going at it, but not like <laughs> you get what I mean. Like let's not take it personal, but a little, a little competition wouldn't hurt. That yeah, way, we, well, that way we have us commentators have a have a story to tell when when we have the <laughs> match going on. You know, we got we got to we got to have some entertainment for the for the viewers. You know, got to give yeah. us something. <laughs> but it was all it was great matches, a great time, and I can't wait to see what every other matchup has in, has has to come. Definitely, definitely. But that said, um, I am going to pass it on to. I'm gonna raid my homie, uh, Gordito Extreme. He's playing uh, Mega Man Legends. I try to look for people that I know that are playing Pokemon Unite, but there isn't any at the moment. And you know how? Oh, so we're... they want to wait. They want to do best of five. Wait, they want to do a best of five. They want to do best of five. <laughs> All right. We're going to do a best of five then. 
All right, best of five, no problem. We will run it right now. Then it is two. It is two one, with Lost Heroes being in position to win. So three more games. No, two more games then. So uh, essentially, if Lost Heroes wins, series is over. If WFN can play from behind and win two straight, they win the series, and we'll see who wins it. You know, they're right. I did talk about it being best of five because right now the way that um, it's going and trying to get a bigger sponsor to come in for the league, I need to show some content. So I told them that we'd do a tournament and then focus on the league aspect. Gotcha, gotcha. So they're not wrong. We're going to do we're going to do the league. Uh, well, we're going to do the tournament. After the tournament, we'll see where we stand. And afterwards, we'll go from there. But I did like what I saw so far. The first, the first couple of games from both teams. WFN just really needs to. See. If they don't want to commit to the Dodrio ban, we got to see if one of them can play Dodrio to stop the other to stop all um, lost heroes. Yeah. So three, best of three, then three out of fives. They need one more. They need to do one more win. And so right now. So now I'm letting them know. So I just told them that basically we have two more games that are it is one game for sure, and then a situational second game right now. Lost Heroes has a chance to close out the series, and they can win 3-1, which is an impressive start to it. I really hope we do not see any sweeps, because it is just no fun seeing somebody go 3-0. Sorry, guys, even if you do go 3-0 and you're that good of a team that you can win three in a row, no one's going to, like, that just it deprives us of some entertainment. <laughs> Don't worry. We're not. We're not going to be like, oh man, they got they got washed three zero. Um, don't worry about that. We're, that's not going to come out of our mouths. No, we don't. We respect everyone as a as a player, as a team. You know, working together in this in any MOBA, it's not the easiest to get team comps together, and then on top of team comps, just working together, knowing rotations and everything. And kudos to all the teams that come out and play because it's. One, it's it's embarrassing if you lose, even if you don't care or if it's just friendly. It is it does hit hard, but at the end of the game, you guys are doing your best. You guys are trying out. You guys are all doing well. Dude, at the, unfortunately, one team has to win, but it's all it's all been going well. All right, we're well, here in the band phase. But yeah, like you said, both teams are playing good. So again, like I said before don't if you win or lose take just take everything as a w review your matches even if you won review your matches because again oh, you never know <laughs> they could come back and beat you you may you may won one game and then next week they'll come back and beat you it happens to be all the time oh and we got espion and slow bro being banned right now all right and also, this goes to whoever is um, in the matches. If you do want an outside perspective, you can always feel free to message either me or Sinjay if he's willing to lend out his expertise on the game. And I know that I will fully commit to anyone who wants any criticism from somebody watching both sides of it. I will happily try to help whoever. Like I said, this league isn't just about somebody picking on somebody else or just like, it's not about winning. It's all about everyone gets better and I'm trying to make sure there's an incentive so everyone shows up, but the league's not about winning prizes or winning money. It's about having fun learning where you can improve. Exactly. Um, oh, um, real quick, Jordan. So I'm going to make a match arena page for this. That way, um, if anybody wants to like crowdfund money for free, just gotta click on a button. All that cash will go towards the final, you know, prize spot for your tournament. Well, for the right, league, cool. for the league. I appreciate it. This yeah. is a really different team comp from both teams. 
Yeah, we're seeing a Mr. Mime and a Buzz Wall, and we have a Guard Chomp now. So, I mean, it. They're going triple support with a frontline attacker and then a backline um, mage. And then we got WFN really, really committing to frontline attack. All right. We're going to see how this goes because, again, this is match point for just five. I mean, sorry, just vibing. Lost Heroes. They should just call themselves just vibing because they're vibing. These, all these matches are just chilling. But anyway, they need one point to win all this tonight. And WFN needs to get two more. Two more wins. So let's see how this goes, man. We're gonna it's be here. We're gonna be here all night, man. It's gonna be a yeah, dope match. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> gotta make sure that they make sure that they um they keep an eye on the Sable Eye. You know, last last matchup with Sable Eye, that's what cost them the match was losing sight of it. And no pun intended, but it's you gotta have the map awareness to see where it's at, where it's going, or if somebody sees it pop up, just just be ready to prepare for it. So we shall see what happens. I mean, the guard chomp is a little interesting of a pick too. I mean, WFN really has all laking right now, with the exception of Mew. True, true. Let's see how this goes. Hard in. All right, so we have J Dog and Danda Pokemon on top for the purple side, and on the orange side we have Hoodie and Anthony. So we have a Mew and Trevenant, and we have a Sableye and a Buzzwall. So we're gonna see again a lot of back cap as we we're seeing right now. Going in with that that first goal. You know what? It's nice to see that little jester outfit on that table. You deserve you deserve to have that outfit. <laughs> I just noticed that uh, with that skin when it goes and scores, the little icon pops up. Yeah, no, I, I think that outfit's so funny. It's got the it's got like little um, toddler shoes on when it walks down. Three supports. Oh man, if if you would have known me um, last year, I did all supports, well, all pink team. But yeah, it was all supports, but it was fun. It was uh, Mr. Mime, Wiggly. That's funny. Um, Blissey. Who else? Was, oh, who else is pink? They, they, uh, just wiped, they just wiped the gibble. Alright, Sableyes is going in. Going in, trying to score that one point. Alright, getting out of there. Ooh, J Dog. Ooh, nice hyper bomb. Or power bomb from Dan Danda just to make sure that J Dog is we'll see. Let's go down bot lane and see what's going on here. The Gibble just evolved. Um Urshifu went back into jungle. Urshifu made the right choice going to bottom lane. It, early game Urshifu can't handle Buzzwell's um grapple moves. Oh yeah. The power those power bombs. Or I and grab smack. you and, <laughs> and slap you and then power bomb you again. I hate that move. <laughs> yeah, we got, yeah, man, we got um, we got a mixed martial artist versus a WWE wrestler. So we'll really see how that works out. <laughs> oh yeah, and the words of my uh my friend Pika when he plays uh Buzzwall and he picks the the sapping. He's like, I'm gonna suck you off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I haven't used Buzzwool's uh, Leech Life since uh, I think initial release. There's just no viability in it when. Uh, uh, I only use it when I'm playing like uh, bot games, <laughs> like the uh, freaking catch them and all that. I'll use it just yeah. for shits and giggles. <laughs> well, it was nice to see this Buzzwool has held its own, which is very uncommon. A lot of Buzzwool players overcommit due to having the higher scaling early game. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Dan the Pokemon is holding it down pretty well as Buzzwool. I will give it credit where it's due. Oh, oh yeah. Well, overall, we see from both teams, each one of their each one of their players has excelled in Pokemon that they picked. 
Oh, it's Dan the Pokemon movie. You're calling up Dan the. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's oh, Dan D Pokemon. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I'm saying Dan the Poke Pokemon. Oh, the tribe stole it. Can you put my no. glasses on? I'm over here shooting with all my glasses. <laughs> And now we got Urshifu. Yep, Urshifu score. We got a nice, nice overcap on that bottom lane. All right, so we have Ducky, Aiden, Meows, and Hoodie all going up top. Nice force field from Worms. All right. This, this mine is going to be a headache for Ducky Wolfman. But the mine just got eliminated. They're providing that pressure right now. Just vibing, just got eliminated. It's up to rain now. It can't, yup. That Del Fox United is not enough from scoring anything. Can they break it before the Lucky comes? Yeah, and they did. Let's see what they do with this. It is before five minutes, so it is the right time to push, but that mime's gonna make it a nightmare for that Lucky to go through. All right. Oh, it looked like Ducky was trying to push him in, but they got denied by the power bomb from Dan the Pokemon. Oh, there goes the ult. Oh, Hyper Bomb! Nice! Eliminate the Ur Urshifu. <laughs> Damn! I kind of like 20 Hyper Bombs, I'm just kidding, but it was like three. <laughs> I know it's a Power Bomb. I say Hyper Bomb because a character that I play in Street Fighter named Alex and he does Hyper Power Bombs, but that's the name of the movie, it's called Hyper Bomb. Oh man, I haven't played, Sh I haven't played Street Fighter in so long. So I just go with that terminology when I, whenever I commentate and I see a buzz wall. Hey man, that's just like whenever I see a Serena or a Charizard, they be like just a huge shot. Fun <laughs> stiletto. <laughs> Your Unite will, will always be a final smash. <laughs> before, before freaking Twitch went on the copyright strike, because I used to play stilettos pumped in the club every time I played Serena. That's funny. I mean, well, I'm hoping to see some patch notes from the game. I'm really hoping that they they get past. Ooh. Sorry to interrupt off. you, but man, did you not, did you just see that Dan the Man just power bombed his way with a double kill? Uh huh. True, he just committed murder, and he's walking away to heal back up to do another. Oh, oh, we're gonna see. Oh, he tried to go for a power bomb. Oh, there he goes, slaps him. Power bombs. Yep, this, oh, is exactly seeing, this is exactly what we were seeing in the European Cup of Buzzwall. Sticking to a lane and really, really just being that frontline damage. Oh, man. Alright, our Sifu's backing away with the Confi. Ooh, alright. Yeah, Sableye didn't even care for the Regilecki. Stabilize is going in with that back half. That's his main goal. That's his mission. His mission is just to score, and right now, he's doing a great job at it. Yeah, Hoodie and Anthony are doing their best to just provide that pressure. They want to they wanna get that 21 in. Ooh, Ducky diving in with the guard chomp. Nice fireworks from Rain. All right, there goes Dan. Ooh, goes in with the ult. Hoodie. Goes over the tackle, the the, the horn leech. Trying to get a little bit of health, but it didn't work for him. No, got it was, out. It was a it was a smart idea in theory, but execution was it was just a hard move to pull off. But it didn't that, cost him anything. There was no counter push. It was the right. It, I think it was the right move. Yeah, it was a, it was a, it was a nice push from WFN. Oh, see, both teams are farming right now. This is mm -hmm. so it's gonna be interesting. The mimes a level eleven. The hoopas almost. I think it's uh twelve with a quarter of XP. Exactly, and we got nineteen seconds before the real game starts here. So let's see. Let's see how it goes here. Thirteen, oh, the... twelve. Oh, hoopa got eliminated. You know, one thing we've noticed is that neither team has been setting up in position for Ray. Yeah, no one's going to the L, the L's. I mean, we got we got the buzz wall here just chilling, but you are correct. Everyone's scattered around. There goes that back cap. 
Up there's the back cap. So now Lawson is in the lead. That Bozo is waiting in that corner, thirsty for blood. All right, we got the ult. We have another ult. All right, there. Aiden is gone. Meows is gone. They are committing Ooh. all. Ooh, okay, okay, hoodie, okay, okay. Sable is gone. Right. Just vibing, all right. All right, nice ult. Ooh. Oh. They have a chance at a steal. Oh, 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 the ult. Okay, okay. Oh, Buzzle oh. takes it. Too little. Just a oh. little bit. Oh, is Aiden going to break Del Fox's shield? Oh, he broke the shield. Aiden broke the shield. All right, let's see if they can stop him here. Ooh. All right, we got 13, we got 36. There goes the table lie. And we see now that... Oh, this is gonna be a rough... Nope. An Urshif was holding his own. Oh, shit. Oh, this is big. Dumping in that seven. Oh! Oh, no, the... the oh, 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 the old... Oh. Oh, oh, and can the you do it? I need to hold them both off. Oh my god, the cap. Wow, what a huge cap. Oh, but it's still not enough. It's still not enough. <laughs> no. Nah, they Oh man, close. Close match, but no, nah, it was they, they 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 needed another hundred to win. No, Curb played it smart, holding on to the Unite until the very, very last moment, doing enough chip damage to stop that, to stop both the Garchomp and the Comfy from scoring. If either one of them scored, that was game for them. Yeah, they needed one more 100, well, 150 to win. But that was a, that was a nice comeback. That was a that nice was, comeback. That was a very hard push by WFN. That is exactly what we want to see. They didn't give up. They counter pushed them, fought until the end. Unfortunately, Lost Heroes just had advantage with that Unite. If not, they probably could have scored a little bit closer to 120 points. And maybe the momentum would have been there to push further, but too many ifs, too many what's. And at the end of the, at the, end of the matches, both teams did very well. Each one of them did, excelled. This was a little bit more of a well-rounded match. Mm -hmm. And it's sad to see any of these teams losing, but unfortunately, this is where the set ends. At best of five, Lost Heroes with three wins, WFM with one win. And I can't wait to see them face each other again. I can't wait to see what, how they counter and see where they learn from these matchups. Yeah, Buzzwell was going in that match. Statistically, Buzzwell didn't show up on stats, but Buzzwell's presence in these matches is more than just stats, and it really comes to show when they had to respect Buzzwell's presence the whole game. They had to, man. But with that, that was it for tonight. Thank you again, um, Jordan, for being here. It was no. good. <laughs> I got next. <laughs> um, the, I got next. I got next to my bed. <laughs> I'm about to knock out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna stream, but later I'm just gonna let everything upload and I'm gonna do my late night Honkai Star Rail streams. So if you guys like JRPGs and you want to come by like around midnight and just chill and watch me play JRPGs, you're more is welcome to. But before we go, Jordan, is there anything you want to say to to the chat? Oh, well, I just, I honestly, I just appreciate everyone who hopped into chat to watch the inaugural game of the league. It does mean a lot that people are showing interest in it as far as playing the league, spectating it, seeing the team, seeing the comps. You know, I appreciate everyone. Everyone that's participating in the league. It means a lot to me, even for the spectators. And I'm hoping that if all goes well, that maybe by the end of the year, I could get something bigger going where even smaller teams can compete. 
and you know maybe we could work something around that but i do appreciate everyone and just thank you to everyone who watched the stream yeah i appreciate you guys too taking the time and coming by my stream and watching um just just by watching the stream commenting that's all i want but if you do want to sub and support the channel that is amazing as well a percentage of those subs when i do get my twitch payout will go towards the league in the future but with that again thank you everyone hope you all have a good rest of your monday night and i'll see you soon we're gonna raid my homie gordito extreme if you guys still stick around he will love to have you guys on his stream just you know use whatever emotes you have to say hey i'm here from from shinji's uh uh channel oh rain thank you for the follow man. i appreciate it just you know just let him know that you guys came from from my from my channel he, he streams off the playstation so he doesn't have that tech savvy that tech savvy stuff <laughs> so let's, let's show him some love I'm trying to get him into Pokemon United as well. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna um, raid Gordito Extreme. I'll see you guys soon, and see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. All right, give me one second. Let me make sure the raid went in.